Hi, my name is Maurice de Beyer and I'm excited to be able to present to you about the Windows Workflow Foundation during the IRIS developer days. And I'd like to give a quick intro in Workflow Foundation activity development. I'm going to start with an empty console application with Workflow enabled. Basically you just get a sequential workflow, nothing special and all the standard workflow activities. So if we want to create one ourselves, I'll click Add, Activity, just leave the default name for now, and we get the so-called Sequence Activity. In here I can just add other activities, like I'm doing now. Not going to do much uh, interesting here. Just a simple right line, and we'll set the delay to a few seconds, five seconds. Now if we want to use this, all we need to do is build, and it's going to show up right at the left top. Right here we'll see the activities from the referenced assembly, so all I need to do now is drag it on and you'll see the composite activity you can collapse it like this. Actually if you don't want this view where you can open and collapse it it's pretty easy to attach another design view to it so that's hidden. So this is pretty simple and easy to do but by no means the most interesting part. Let's take a quick look at a more interesting sample. Again I'm gonna add an activity I'll leave the default name again. Now instead of adding activities to it, I'm going to change the base class. By default you get something derived from sequence activity. I'm going to change that and make it inherit from activity itself. If I switch back you'll see the interface change and now I can no longer drop activities on here. So how do I get to execute something in here? Switch back to the code. In this case I want to override the execute. The return is actually what happens to the activity when this function is uh, finished. The default is next state is closed which means from this activity is done the workflow runtime can go ahead and schedule the next one. The other possible option is executing, which means so much as this activity is waiting for something, it's done calling the execute function, but the activity itself isn't done yet. All the other values here, cancelling, compensating, faulting, initialized, you can't use as return value, so it's just closed or executing. In this case I'm just going to do a real simple one. Another right line. And this should work, although it's somewhat simplistic. Again, if I build, it's going to show up here. There's our activity too. I can drag it and now I can run the workflow. I will show the first uh, high 5 second delay, all from the first composite activity we made and hello from my activity and the workflow is done. Ok, that's it for the small demo. Uh, if you want to learn more about Workflow Foundation and I, can ho and I can recommend it, it's a very interesting subject. Come to my sessions and I'll uh, tell you all about it.